The rhythm of daily life was abruptly disrupted in Singapore, a city known for its seamless efficiency. Imagine waking up one day to the news that your reliable EZ-Link or Nets flash pay card, a staple for public transport payments, is on the brink of being obsolete. This disruption affects your regular commute to work or school, leaving you stranded without the means to board a bus or train. But how is such a scenario possible in a world-class country like Singapore? Well, it might have been a little dramatic, but the reality isn't too far off. January 9, 2024 marked a pivotal moment when the Land Transport Authority made a bold announcement that would reshape the very fabric of public transportation payments. As the city grappled with this sudden twist, questions loomed in the air like a mystery waiting to be unraveled. Why did the Land Transport Authority, or LTA, decide to pull the plug on these familiar cards and what awaited commuters on the horizon? Join us as we dive deep into the heart of a controversy and innovation as we explore the saga of Simply Go, a payment platform introduced in 2019 that promises to revolutionize the commuting experience and find out why the transport minister had to make an apology in the aftermath. Be sure to watch till the end as we will unveil a rare and astonishing decision that LTA had to make after its announcement. To unravel the origins of this narrative, let's first cast our minds back to March 7, 2019, when LTA made a groundbreaking announcement that would alter the course of Singapore's commuting landscape. Simply Go was born out of a successful pilot of the account-based ticketing system introduced in 2017, allowing commuters to embrace contactless payments and bid farewell to traditional EZ-Link fare cards. This revolutionary payment platform not only granted commuters the freedom to use contactless bank cards, but also provided a portal for tracking travel expenditure and history through the TransitLink Simply Go portal. With widened payment options, users could effortlessly tap in and out using contactless cards and mobile devices linked to credit cards. The convenience seemed unparalleled, but the real game-changer came in June 2023. LTA made a sweeping announcement, consolidating EasyLink and TransitLink services under the Simply Go brand, positioning the Simply Go app as the ultimate one-stop solution for all transit-related transactions by the end of 2023. A wave of optimism surged as new features promised instant card blocking, direct refund of remaining balances to accounts and a more user-friendly interface. But as the saying goes, the devil is in the details. The optimism soon faced its first challenge when, in the months following the announcement, a senior citizen commuter shared a disheartening experience with The Straits Times, a Singapore news outlet. Upgrading his concession card to simply go left him in the dark, with no immediate insight into his fare charges or remaining balance when he took the MRT or bus. The frustration challenged the notion that Simply Go was an improvement for the average commuter. Despite the public feedback, LTA remained steadfast in their stance. A senior group director from the agency defended Simply Go, emphasizing the convenience it offered in remotely topping up fare cards and maintaining fare history. However, the convenience came at a cost, a lack of real-time information at fare gates and bus readers. The clash between technological advancements and the needs of the average commuter became evident. As the narrative of Simply Go unfolds, the storyline takes an unexpected turn, thrusting us into the heart of controversy and public uproar. January 9, 2024 stands as a pivotal moment in Singapore's transit history, as LTA dropped a bombshell that sent shockwaves through the city's commuters. LTA made the shocking announcement that from June 1, 2024, Non-Simply Go Easy Link Adult Cards and Nets Flash Pay Cards could no longer be used for public transport payments. The reasoning behind this drastic move was attributed to the growing prevalence of Simply Go payment methods and the aging legacy card-based ticketing system for adult commuters. LTA asserted that the majority of commuters would be unaffected by this transition. Commuters were urged to embrace the future by downloading the Simply Go mobile application to enjoy the host of benefits the app could offer. However, this seemingly seamless migration to digitalization would soon reveal its thorns. The announcement immediately sparked a wave of public outcry, painting a picture of a government's push to digitalize at the expense of the needs and convenience of commuters. One of the major grievances was that commuters were no longer able to check the fare paid or card balance at fare gates and bus card readers 
under the Simply Go system. Ironically, this echoed the very feedback that LTA dismissed earlier, showcasing the disparity between promises and reality. The absence of immediate fare deductions and card balance visibility struck a chord with commuters, who relied on these queues for budgeting and identifying fare discrepancies. While LTA highlighted that commuters could check their past transactions and card balance via the Simply Go app, discerning viewers raised questions about the supposed upgrade. Many pointed out that similar functionalities existed in the Easy Link app, making the transition appear more like a downgrade rather than a leap forward. To exacerbate the situation, commuters were advised to resort to ticketing machines for fair transaction history and card balance checks as an alternative, a move met with dissatisfaction as it added an extra layer of inconvenience. The discontent reverberated through social media with the Facebook post by Channel News Asia, a news media drawing numerous angry reactions and comments. The sentiment was clear. Was it necessary to migrate entirely to Simply Go, especially when it inconveniences the tech-averse senior citizens amongst other drawbacks? As if on cue, further issues surfaced with the Simply Go app becoming less responsive, denying users access to certain features. LTA responded, attributing the problem to a surge in transaction volume, promising resolution and enhancements. To rub salt to wound, more concerns were brought to light, with users encountering difficulties in upgrading their easy link cards to Simply Go. Many voiced their dissatisfaction, highlighting what seemed to be a lack of adequate preparation on the part of the authorities for this transition. The Simply Go debacle had become a national concern, with MPs raising parliamentary questions and calling for government intervention to address the deficiencies before the mandatory upgrade. One thing was undeniable. The LTA found itself amidst a growing storm, battling public discontent and grappling with the unintended consequences of their grand digitalization plan. The Simply Go saga had evolved into an urgent and formidable challenge, demanding nothing short of immediate attention and resolution. Will LTA stand firm in its commitment to transition to Simply Go, or will it reconsider its approach with a strategic pivot? Well, in a rare occurrence that is seldom seen in Singapore's policy landscape, LTA yielded and reversed its policy. In response to the resounding discontent of the public, LTA decided to indefinitely postpone the planned full adoption of the Simply Go payment system for adult public transport fares from the original June 1, 2024 date. As it transpired, the echoes of commuters' concerns had reached the ears of Transport Minister Chi Hong Tat, who acknowledged the validity of the grievances. In response, the government pledged a substantial 40 million Singapore dollars to extend the use of EasyLink cards and Nets FlashPay cards for adult commuters till at least 2030. The initial plan to phase out the older ticketing system in 2024 was abandoned in favor of addressing the concerns that were raised to ensure a smoother transition. The minister took a further step by apologizing to commuters for the fiasco, recognizing that there had been a judgment error in deciding to replace older public transport payment cards for adults. He admitted to underestimating how commuters valued seeing fair information and card balances pledging to learn from this experience and strive for improvement in the future. The decision to shelve the plans brought a collective sigh of relief from public transport users, grateful that their concerns were heard. However, discerning observers noted cracks in the communication strategy and a lack of preparedness on LTA's part. The incompatibility of Simply Go cards with other payment systems, coupled with the failure to anticipate the needs of different commuter segments, highlighted shortcomings in the product design stage. The abrupt U-turn exposed the necessity for a more user-centric approach, addressing the fundamental need for commuters to track fare deductions and card balances. The unforeseen inconveniences caused by the lack of foresight underscored the importance of holistic preparation before rolling out transformative initiatives for the nation. While this fiasco undeniably dealt a blow to Singapore's public transport narrative, there is a measure of understanding for Chi Hong Tat. He assumed the role of full minister for the Ministry of Transport only on January 18, 2024, following the resignation of the former transport minister, S. Iswaran, amidst a corruption scandal. What exactly happened in this shocking case of corruption in Singapore? Watch this video to find out more.